What's good, everybody, and welcome back to Hyperfocus for another edition of uh, Brand Review. Today, we are going to be looking at the rebrand of Sprite. And uh, as you may have noticed, I am not joined by Jan today, but I am joined by Anatoly. Hi. Uh, if you are actually new uh, here, don't forget to subscribe and you could like the video right now. Or you could wait until the end and like the video if you like the video, it really helps us to continue to make content like this. Because in this video, we will be breaking down the brand. We'll be looking at the history of the brand. And at the end, as we always do, we will be giving the brand a score out of 10 in our humble opinion. So I think without further ado, we should jump straight in. So I'll hand it over to my colleague, Anatoly, to break it down. Um, hello everybody, so I replace Jan uh, today. Jan is in holidays, so shout out to Jan. <laughs> On the beach in Portugal. Yeah, so when you want, uh, don't want to see Jan anymore, and I should replace him uh, in, 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 in new episodes uh, in, in the future, uh, leave us a comment. Like uh, <laughs> the video, then we'll get rid of Jan. So. <laughs> um, okay, right, prove so. it, prove it, let's jump in. Let's jump in. So, uh, as we know, Jan uh, started the Sprite rebrand um, and it was done by the Coca-Cola in-house design team um, and two other agencies, one from San Francisco called... What, how do you pronounce it? Duck, Duckworth. Uh, Ducksworth. Turner Ducksworth. San Duckworth. San Francisco. From San Francisco. But they have offices, uh, I think, in two or three cities around the West. So, and uh, another one is the Relative. They are from Manchester. It's your hometown, right? Yes, I have lived in Manchester for quite some time. Yes. <laughs> All right. So these three um, companies um, work on the rebrand. And Sprite. Yes, this is uh, what is Sprite actually? So this Sprite is a colorless lemon and lime flavored, uh, flavored soft drink created by the Coca-Cola company. Sprite comes in multiple uh, flavors, including cranberry, cherry, grape, orange, tropical, ginger, and vanilla. So Sprite uh, competes primarily against uh, Dr. Pepper's 7-Up. And the numbers are the Coca-Cola company's second largest brand with more than 20 billion in global uh, retail sales. Wow. That's a lot. That is a 20 billion. 20 billion on soft drinks. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy, right? All right, yeah. Well, for Sprite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, I never drink this stuff. I don't know about you. No. No, me neither. Yeah, it's me not yeah. such a... I don't think Sprite has really been such a big thing in uh, in Europe, to be honest. Uh, I think people maybe drink the 90s. Sprite. Yeah, okay. yeah, still drink Sprite, but maybe we are not the tar target group, right? <laughs> <So>. Maybe not. <laughs> Let's have a look, see if we are. So the lemon lime drink uh, today known as Sprite was first developed in West Germany in 1959 as, uh, as Fanta uh, Klare Zitrone, it's clear lemon Fanta, and was introduced in the United States under the Sprite name in 1961 as a competitor competitor to Seven Up. So bring those facts, <laughs> loving it. So you know what Sprite means? And does it mean sprinkle <laughs> plus light? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's exactly. a it's a wild guess, right? It's it's a world a combination of wow, these two okay. uh, worlds. What a guess! Yeah, yeah. hundred percent. Well, um, I did not know that before. That's pretty. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So, according to Snack History, Sprite was available to about 85% of the U.S. population and was sold at least 39, 39 countries. By 1978, it became the market leader in the lemon soda category. And as of 2019, Sprite is the third most consumed soda in the world. And it sold in more than... 190 countries. Wow. That's a lot. That is a lot. 190 How many countries do we have in the world? Like I don't know. 80 something? Um, fact check. <laughs> <laughs> there yeah. we go. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, the task. As part of the new global summer promotional campaign, Heat Happens, Sprite is rolling out a rebrand featured, uh, featuring a new global visual identity system. The brand refresh includes a new packaging design and a new logo. 
So first of all, we can um, take a look on, on the history. So it starts 61 as Pride. So this is the first logo they have with the boom icon on top of the eye. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's like an explosion, right? It's like an explosion. Yeah, yeah. yeah crazy. Okay. So they keep it till 64. Yeah. And then move away from it. So and um, yeah, put it in 45 degrees, I think. So and um, yeah, they 84 they they put a um, lemon on it. <laughs> <laughs> why not? I mean, yeah, why you not? would, wouldn't you, right? Yeah. You replace a boom yeah. with a lemon. Yeah, yeah. that's. I think that's the one that I remember. Um, yeah. That's the only association I have, and I think it's from. I don't know for some reason I think of Andre Agassi uh, at Wimbledon. I think of uh, Nike, tennis, and then Sprite. And uh, maybe it, that was a, it was a big thing then. Yeah, uh, and uh, 2006 logo. I don't know what it is. It's like two hands, and in a, it's a S, I think. But never saw it. Looks like a really bad superhero. Logo. Yeah, a kind of, and they get rid of it uh, pretty quickly, after, right? Yeah, two, <laughs> two years, and then it's uh, disappeared. But they they bring back this this uh, I don't know this Batman shape, I think. <laughs> Crazy. You know, in yeah, 2008, yeah. this, this um, what's the name for it? It's a thing like a splash. Mm -hmm. um, but I think they have a name for it. We, we will see. Um, and then they reduce it over the time. So, uh, till 2019. And let's take a look on the... Well, the, the funny thing is, before I yeah. move on, like in my memory, I cannot remember really any of these, but I know the name Sprite. So, I think that's testimony to Sprite as a brand, just with word play, with its name, even not knowing the name, uh, what the name means, and not really having an association with how the brand looks, apart from very, very uh, long time ago, I still know the brand, and I still have my own associations with it. So I think that's pretty pretty crazy. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people probably feel the same as well. If you do, leave some comments, let us know. <laughs> All right, on, onwards. So this is the new logo um, on the right side. So the old uh, one is on the left. So what they actually did is they um, split these two elements. So we have a word mark and um, the Starburst, that's the name actually for this Splash uh, Batman logo. Mm -hmm. um, the Starburst uh, uh, is now um, moving on top of the bottle. So it's going away from the... Uh, main view field or how do you call it like okay. from the label main label and it's now on the top and, and they have also a new typeface um, and what they want to do is to um, be more appealing to the new generation the gen z uh, yeah. okay yeah so cons consumers gen z consumers right okay all right let's so, see how that plays out i mean in my humble opinion i would say gen z uh not smoking, not drinking, uh, they're aware of their health and they have completely different mor morality or morals to we did when we were younger. So I don't know how a soda is really going to play into that. But yeah. let's see what they've done. See if yeah. that really does play <laughs> out because it doesn't really make much sense to me. No, but in some kind of uh, topics I also belong to Gen Z. Okay. <laughs> Um, so this is like the, the uh, overall look, how it looks like. We have the logo, we have the starburst. Is it mm -hmm. Starburst, yeah, starburst. Um, updated color colors. It's uh, green and a bit more like greener green. That's Maybe a great yellow, yellow, ye yellow, yellow, green. More, I don't know. And um, the black color, and also they have this um, yeah typeface which has. Um, how can I describe it? It's like yeah, they try to merge uh, the typeface with the with the logo, a kind of. But it still looks yeah yeah hard to read, I think as well. And this kind of stencil look, uh, I'm not hundred uh, percent convinced and sure about this typeface. Yeah, me neither. But, to be honest, yeah, it doesn't really fit. It, I think. When you put the sprite logo and the, and the typeface next to each other, they really uh, fight against each other, to be honest. Yeah. Right. 
So it's it's a free font. Oh, okay. Choose. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I thought that <laughs> at first they they do develop it by themselves, but no, they just from the, a, from where from the font from the font. No, <laughs> that's um, I think it's like like or something. Okay. Uh, I'm not hundred percent sure, but it's it's uh, sounds French. Um, all right. So the packaging. Oh, this is the logo again with the with the blobs. Um, so and also the starburst. Then we have the starburst on top without the uh, type. I I'm not sure if um, yeah it feel, feels a kind of yeah get placed uh, not not on the right place mm -hmm. I think so yeah. it's like in a circle this kind of thing. Mm. I'm not not convinced. So and here's like like out of uh, out of home campaign. Um, so we can see um, the combination with typography and uh, the logo. So it's actually okay, but yeah. It's okay, but it's not wowing me. It's nothing yeah, I've no. not seen before, to be quite honest. No. So. It's okay. And, um, here's some um, magazine, I think. This or? looks like the designers set off with really high aspirations and ended up having their balls squeezed by the client. <laughs> 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 to be honest, that does not look like... Uh, it's like, um, I'm go still going to try and be contemporary even though I've given up. <laughs> that's, what, <laughs> that's what that poster says to me. <laughs> right? Uh, maybe it's not the best case uh, to show, but uh, it exists. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. And also they uh, go away from the green bottle. Um, which they used before to a uh, transparent or white transparent but, but, mm -hmm. uh, bottle um, because they can recycle it better. Oh, okay. But still they need to recycle it, so it's not like uh, some, some plastic I mean, which is uh, I'm not so after 10 years yeah. um, become a part of the nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying that I, I, I mean, I don't drink Coke myself um, and I don't really like the... <laughs> what Coca-Cola kind of really sells and stands for. Um, but I do appreciate that they introduced the glass bottles. Maybe it was like a marketing thing, but they started to reintroduce glass bottles in certain markets, which I thought was really cool. And I think this would have been a great um, opportunity for them to introduce glass bottles. Mm. Yeah, they have different kind of bottles. So in 900, uh, 190 countries, so you have a lot of different bottles, I yeah. think, right? Okay. You know, but um, how the type works here, it's like, um, yeah, not really inspiring at all. So drip, 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 zero, look, look, look. So I mean, 20 billion <laughs> uh, dollars brand, and they, they have just like something like this. I think they, they put a lot of money in the campaign yeah. to roll it out, but um, the typography and so on, it's like, um, plays a secondary role. role. Yeah, it's, just, That's it's what a I shame. Think. I think they could have yeah. done a lot more. Yeah, and I expected um, that they maybe de develop their own typeface, for example. Yeah. That would be really cool, but they... they that seems to be, I mean, that's the standard points. thing right now uh, to do that, and it's something that obviously we champion and we, we love to see. It's a shame mm -hmm. that they didn't do it this time. Here's a kind of overview. I don't know if it's PDF guidelines or still, or is it... I'm not sure. So PDF guidelines? <laughs> Did you say the word PDF guidelines? Yeah, I, um, I'm not sure. Um, we'll leave a link like to the a video above. Uh, you'll get to know my full <laughs> uh, view and feelings on PDF style guides. <laughs> um, so we have here a quote from um, Zafa Abdul. Ab Do you know how to pronounce the, the last name? Ab uh, Ab Rafa Abru, yeah. Abru. Yeah. Uh, he is the global uh, VP in design. So he said the new brand identity for Sprite is sharp and clear. <laughs> it cuts through the noise and conveys confidence as an iconic brand. The new identity is bold and embraces the aud audacity of self-expression by being dynamic, distinctive and modern. Okay, that's yes. fair enough. I agree with that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when we go back to the logo as well, so because it's the main visual anim element, I think here. So what they did, they they have kind of 
nice curve which is going from R to I to T and it's it's much better than before I think so we need to say also something good you know and um, I think I kind of like it um, yeah but they don't change that much right no it's okay so and here have, we have the packaging in overview um, as we see the uh, starburst is going on the top also on the packaging the cans I, I, I mean they try to 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 put it to put it big as a coca-cola logo yeah but you know when you see a bit of the coca-cola logo you already recognize it with the red color i'm not sure if it's possible with sprite um i think on the small bottles work it works a bit better when you see the full uh, logo um but not the the cropped one yeah so, definitely yeah. uh yeah i have a little bit of a problem but i'll save that till the conclusion to, <laughs> our, to our scores um yeah, I think it's time. It's actually time to uh, to recap, right, and score. Yeah, yeah um, I'll go first. Yeah, um, I think like definitely some of the things that you've you've said, I, I definitely agree with. Um, I don't believe that this um, this what what's it called the, the starburst really has any uh, relevance. It doesn't really have any any home um, because I don't think it will become an iconic brand element anytime no. soon. I don't see it being. Um, yeah, if I saw that outside of the brand, just as the word Sprite, I don't know. There's something when I look at this, it, it reminds me of a green Levi's uh, oh. branding for some reason. Yeah. I don't know what that <laughs> is, but maybe it's the shape or something. Yeah. Um, I think uh, I'm very disappointed with the font. I would have liked to have seen a uh, font developed. I think for 20, a $20 billion brand could have done a bit more. Um, I agree with the bold statement of it being clean, uh, minimal, and very yeah, having uh, a lot of like energy and authority because it is Sprite at the end of the day. It can do that, um, but it kind of feels like the execution falls a bit short, and that reasoning isn't enough just for a clear drink. It's kind of like an excuse, an apology, somewhat I think, in a creative way. Um, so. With that being said, I would give this probably a four. A four. A four out of ten. I think it's the worst you ever. It's it's pretty low. It's yeah. pretty low. Yeah, I don't hate it. Yeah. But it's not delivering, and it's I can't give it too much of a high score, unfortunately. All right. Um, so, what I'm thinking? Um, first of all, it's a it's a FMCG brand, so it's a fast uh, uh, market consumer. Uh, good mm -hmm. so um and i yeah for this you know they need to look like or be appealing to everybody so that's why many many um, products look like they look like <laughs> and um i think what they done here is to reduce everything and um, try to merge it better to uh, the um, coca-cola branding mm -hmm. so that they try uh, um, to, to apply the same elements from coca-cola like the wave yeah so this now the wave it would be then the, the starburst and they try to play a lot with the with the logo type as well as with coca-cola we saw in the past um, but it doesn't work that well so as coca-cola I think um, but what I like is the um, reduce appeal to it um, I don't think the PET bottles looks look look really really good they look a kind of cheap a bit mm -hmm. I'm not sure I um, I think the packaging uh, looks quite good where the the logo is really big and yeah I, I would I would give it a five Wow. Okay. So All it's right. My a, a little bit first higher than mine. review. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to be like really harsh on it, but I think they could do more. And I think the the free type is also quite cool. But I'm disappointing that they just use it or and don't don't do yeah. a kind of um, yeah or approach the designers to to make for them a, a, a individual one. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's a bit 
yeah, sad, I think. But all right, cool. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Um, those are pretty low scores. Um, if you guys have a very different opinion, I hope you do. Uh, let us know in the comment section below, and we will open up a discussion. It's always interesting to get your view on things as well. Uh, this is just our humble opinion. Um, I don't know the circumstances of how these brands were built, but all we can do as the viewer is uh, contribute and give our uh, our opinion. Uh, so yeah, if you have enjoyed also having Anatolia with me, uh, we talked about possibly doing more stuff together. Um, let us know as well. It's been really cool to have you. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, and as always, uh, like this video. <laughs> subscribe if you've not again it helps us to keep making content just like this and as always we will see you in the next one peace